Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. Huh? <laughs> What's all this? Yep, yep. That's... be done.
my time if you want to bring your thing like you. You would just kill me. I'd rather die than look at you for one more uh, second. Uh, you can't be. Come on, you bad. There. It ain't enough, but please take it. <laughs> oh, thank you again. You my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. You quit that now, you hear? Thank you. Thank you again for all your help. I think I need to be alone now. Okay, take it easy. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Sorry, got nothing for Mr. you right Morgan, now. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Sir, watch 
Appreciate it, Pearson. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Just make sure it goes into the pot, Good job, not your Morgan. pocket. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Radley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. 
Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Oh, get in. You want that girl to die? Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, good. Let me know. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Get out of Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. Don't mind me, I'm just getting some weapons. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there. What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? Okay, Mr. Mm -hmm. Now, let's mm -hmm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those yeah, fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the ball. Bring him back alive. I'll shut him up yet. All right, get after them.
make sure you time up real good. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his voice. This could get bumpy. Come on now. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my Get coward. Up. Get off me! She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? Shut the hell up! All right, all right, damn it. This monster. Aye, aye. You're coming with me. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Yeah. 
Okay, fella. Got that uh information you asked for? Do you want this now, then, or no? Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right fella to speak to. on the new railroad for those who know which way the stick goes. Yeah, I heard that too. Hello. Me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Oh, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean All off you. Come right. on. And All I'll right. tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Let's go, boy. What's your problem?
no earthly respect from us as a sign of respect to our creator we pay respect to the dead huh? oh father what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully he carried that awful war with him rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Let us pray for... You cannot be in there. What is wrong with you? Let us pray for this man, O oh Father. Provide him mercy. Amen. until you get oh, they're here for your bounty oh, come to mama boy don't shoot I'm an arm we knew you was coming I got something to ask I'm a changed man okay let me say my farewells I'll come away peaceable make it quick you're a forgiven man make it quick. Hey, I'm boy boy come here Listen. Exactly as I say. Here. No. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Take me away. Or let me loose. Look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. This is uh, very kind of you. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy.
Johnson. Johnson, what? Just you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. That son of a bitch. It's a bit late for running, Johnson. Point and all that. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Like the boy said, let him go back to his family. Or you are gonna have this trouble with want? us. belong to wearing roads. <laughs> this is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Small Holden. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. 
Go to hell. Go forth, you bitch. Again, my money. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. That ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always have one for gossip. Jazz from Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Did you call me a gossip? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? As crazy as a sheep herder. <laughs> the man's a menace!
Don't rush me. I'll get to you. Evening. Well, hello again. I got another one in. You interested? All right, well, come back if you change your mind. You know, them's bad men. Sure. Real unpleasant. Old Wendell White killed a farmer over some wages. White man he was, and all. And Samson Black, he shot half the kid. Where's this shot? Where's this shot?
get you home. Yep. A wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? My money. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All oh, this wonderful methanol. Try walking with your eyes open. How's things? some kind of issue with me? What's all this talking about? Pardon. You're concerned I am the devil. Now get out of here. <laughs> 
this cab. I said get out of here. Yeah. You won't get them shit. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Only cowards and bandidos cover their face. Oiga, careful! Tranquilo! See your face if you want to buy a gun in this shop. There, no mask. That's better. Civilized. I spot you up a lot. And you're still wearing a mask. Clean up. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? You cannot all have. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. And will you be needing any ammunition? Glad to see you're I taking care of it. You. So many people don't. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Oh, 
Sir. My God, there's some real fine beauties around here. Kiss your mother with that mouth, Corey. That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. Thank you for your help. Remember, for me, boy. Oh, I'm sorry.
Welcome to our humble police house. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh... It'll Open save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. We do it. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. What's your problem? Hey, move it! Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, ah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ha! Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. of the puzzle. He's a lucky man. 